Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the slanted shell dishcloth. You can also use this for a washcloth for your face. It's totally up to you. You can use it for either purpose. And for this particular dishcloth I made this slightly smaller than my normal dishcloth and the total size of the square ended up being six and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. You can always make this larger or smaller even depending on your preference and I will show you the stitch multiple in order to make this dishcloth bigger or smaller. So I have two different colors here. You can make this in any color that you wish. You can match your home decor in your kitchen or your bathroom or you can give these away as gifts. And this is 100% cotton so it makes it nice and durable and I really love the stitch definition of that slanted shell. And this is the exact same one just in a different color. This is more of a light gray color. So let's begin on how to make the slanted shell dishcloth and I will also show you how to make that border nice and straight because when you make this stitch the top of the pattern is going to be slanted so if you want this to be more of a square edge I will show you how to make that border nice and straight. So let's begin today's tutorial on how to make the slanted shell dishcloth. So for today's tutorial you're going to need a size H 5mm crochet hook and you're also going to need some cotton yarn and I just used one skein of I Love This Cotton and you can get this at Hobby Lobby this is 100% cotton and it is a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, 180 yards or 165 meters and the recommended hook size is a US I9 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and it is a number 4 worsted weight yarn and it is machine washable and dryable. And I'm using a slightly smaller crochet hook today, but if you wanted to use the recommended I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, you can do that as well. And the color I'm using is Serene Spa. Now, if you wanted to use the other gray color that I used, I also used Dove. And again, this is a very light gray color. And I thought these colors looked very nice together. Again, if you wanted to use any cotton yarn that you have in your stash, you can certainly do that as well. You do not have to use the exact same yarn that I have. If you are going to make a washcloth or a dishcloth, then I would highly suggest using a 100% cotton yarn. And it would just make it a little bit easier to wash and dry and you won't have any of those acrylic fibers in your yarn. So to begin, you're going to make your slip knot. Now if you're going to make the dishcloth the exact same size as mine, then you're going to need to make a chain of 26. However, if you do want to make this larger or smaller, you're going to need to change up the size of your dishcloth. So the chain, you're going to make a stitch multiple of 4 plus 2. So that means you're going to make your chain in a multiple of 4, so times any number by 4. And then once you're satisfied with the width of your dishcloth, you're going to add two more chains to the very end. So for my dishcloth, I did 6 times 4, which is 24, and I added two more chains, so for a total of 26 chains. So to make a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's 1, 2, 3, four, five, continue until you have 26 chains or a multiple of four plus two. Okay, once you have your chain of 26 or your chain of four, your multiple of four plus two, we can begin row one. For row one, you're going to make a single crochet in the second chain from your hook and in each chain across. So the loop on your hook does not count and you're going to count two chains from your hook. So one and two. 
and in that second chain from your hook, you're going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook into that second chain from your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first single crochet. Now we're going to continue and make one single crochet in each of the chains across. So in that very next chain, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So continue making one single crochet in each of the chains across and I will meet up with you at the end of row one and continue on to row two. Okay, so here is what your first row looks like after you made all of those single crochets. So for row two, you're gonna chain up three. So one, two, and three, and then turn your work in that very first single crochet, which is going to be right here, you're going to make four double crochets. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So you're going to make four additional double crochets in that first stitch. So to make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that first stitch, make sure you get both loops, so this loop right here and that loop for the full stitch, Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now you have two double crochets, you need to make two more, yarn over, Insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, make your last double crochet, and now we have our shell. So you should have four double crochets in that first stitch. Next, you're going to skip three stitches, so one, two, and three. And in that stitch after that, you're gonna make a single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets, all in that same stitch. So skip three stitches, and in that stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain two, and in that same stitch that you made the single crochet, you're going to make four double crochets. Just like that. Now you're going to repeat this across your entire row. So you're going to again skip three chains, I mean three stitches, one, two, and three. And in the stitch after that, you're going to make one single crochet, chain two, and then four double crochets, all in that same stitch. and this forms your pattern. So again, skip three stitches, and in the stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets, all in that same stitch.
skip three stitches and in the stitch after that make a single crochet chain two four double crochets all in that same stitch skip the next three stitches and in the stitch after that again single crochet chain two four double crochets and then you can see your pattern forming see how there's no straight edge on the top that's why I'm going to show you at the end how to make that straight edge unless you want it to be more fan like like this you can leave it like this as well totally up to you now when you reach the end of your row you're gonna have four stitches left so you're gonna skip three stitches and in that very last stitch, you're just going to make one single crochet to finish off the row. And then this is what your second row looks like. Okay, so to move on to row three, you're going to chain up three and turn your work. And in that very first stitch, which again is your single crochet, you're going to make four double crochets all inside that same stitch. Next, you're going to skip your next shell, which is going to be right here, those four double crochets, and you're going to look for that chain two space. That chain two space is going to be right here, and these are going to be the spaces that we're going to work into. So skip the next four double crochets, and inside that chain two space, which is right here, you're going to make a single crochet chain two and four double crochets all inside that chain two space so one two three and four And you're going to repeat this all the way across. So again, skip the next four double crochets. Find that chain two space and make one single crochet. Chain two, four double crochets all inside that chain two space. Skip the next four double crochets, find that chain two space, insert your hook, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochets, all in that chain two space. Again, find that chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochets. And then after a while, you'll find that this stitch becomes very easy to make, and it's just a one row repeat. And again, I really love the texture that this stitch creates. Ok, 
Okay, and then when you get to the end of your row, you're going to have your final shell. So you're going to again skip those four double crochets, find that chain two space, and right inside that chain two space, you're going to make a single crochet. And then that way, when you make your each row, your shells are going to offset one another. So you have one shell right here, and then you have two shells on either side. And the more rows that you make, your ends will be even on, on both sides. So all you're going to do is repeat row three over and over again for the entire pattern. So I ended up making a total of 12 rows. So row one is your single crochet row, and then I did 11 rows of the shell stitch. Now say you're at the end of row 12, so for the next row to even out that border, you're going to make a chain of one, and then turn your work. And then for the first row of your, the, to even out the top, you're going to make a single crochet in the very first stitch. And then in each of the double crochets, so you have four double crochets per shell, you're going to make a single crochet in each of the double crochets across. And then you're going to end up skipping that chain two space. So you have your double crochet or your single crochet in that very first stitch one single crochet in each of the four double crochets, you're going to see your chain two and you're going to skip that and you're immediately going to look for the next double crochet which is right here and you're going to make one single crochet in the next four double crochets. Again you're going to skip that chain two which is right here you're going to find your next double crochet and you're going to make a single crochet in the next four double crochets. So you're going to repeat this all the way across making a single crochet only in the double crochets across the top of your row. And if you want to leave the top where it's more of a scalloped edge, you can certainly do so. If you are going to do that instead, I would suggest making one additional row to have the size be about the same size that my dishcloth ended up being. But it's totally up to you. Okay, and then when you come to the very end, you're going to find that chain three and you're just going to make one single crochet in the top of that chain three. So here is what it looks like so far. Chain one and turn and then for your final row you're just going to make a single crochet in that very first stitch and in each stitch across. And then once you have these two rows of single crochet, then you will have an, an even edge on the top. Now I did not make a border around the entire dishcloth. If you wanted to do so, you could totally do that. I usually just make a single crochet border around a lot of my projects just because I feel like it's a very neat stitch that makes everything look nice and polished, but I did not make a border for this particular dishcloth. I only rounded out the top of it, so it was a complete square instead of the scallop top. So continue making one single crochet in each of the single crochets from the previous row. And once 
you have that, as you can see, the top is nice and square. So if we take a look at our dishcloths again. You can see that I have my edge right on top with those two rows of single crochets. And it kind of mimicked the bottom a little bit, which is why I wanted to make that top straight. So this is how to make the slanted shell dishcloth. I hope you enjoyed today, today's tutorial. And I really like the stitch definition, as I said. And I hope you enjoyed the stitch definition just as much as I did. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!